Hi folks and uh, welcome to uh, part two of the campaign. Uh, before we take a closer look at the uh, campaign map itself and the movement for this week, uh, one thing I forgot to uh, talk about when uh, we were discussing the uh, how I move troops around the campaign map itself, uh, apart from using the uh, dice and the uh, movement cards. Uh, the other thing that affects troops moving on the uh, campaign map is um, the weather. Um, any adverse weather basically slows all movement to uh, half moon. and um, how I do that is basically <laughs> Sunday morning I take a look out of the uh, window and that's the weather for the week and here in deepest darkest Surrey in the UK it's been pretty much raining continually so it's been raining continually on the uh, campaign map and um, it has affected a great deal the uh, movement of troops on the roads. So uh, with no further ado, we'll have a look and see what's been going on uh, for this week's movement. Um, the uh, French Corps has had an absolute nightmare uh, due to bad weather and, of course, really bad luck on the uh, movement cards as well. So uh, they have been reduced to a crawl. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not looking good. Uh, they should pretty much be down here by now, but, uh, yeah, they're... They're languishing somewhere up there, up north, so uh, yeah, it's not doing too well. Um, the Prussians as well really haven't been doing much movement at all either because, again, they've been affected by the uh, weather, pretty lucky with the um, movement cars, but the weather has affected them as well, so they've been slowly trudging along as well. Um, the um, scouts themselves have been doing okay. Um, one of the Hazar scouting units has been uh, has actually reached the, the uh, town of Ramir and has secured the bridge. Uh, we have had our first contact uh, between the uh, first life Hazars of Prussians and some uh, dragoon detachment. Um, I did fight out that uh, little tiny little battle using my own little skirmish rules, so um, I'll put some pictures at the end to show you some of the some of the action um pretty much first blood to the prussians um they sort of had a, a, a minor skirmish with the uh, dragoons the dragoons um took a bit of a pasting and uh it started to retire so um yeah it's uh, first blood to the prussians really uh moving along the board themselves uh, the outlying uh, forts have now got that together now and they're starting to uh, get their cavalry units together and uh, starting scouting in the other direction as well. Um, the only subsequence obviously of the encounter would be that the uh, the French know that the uh, Prussians are pretty close and uh, hopefully are going to act accordingly. Uh, messages have been sent back to Second Corp and uh, Hopefully that will spur them on to move a bit better. Hopefully they'll have a bit better luck. And obviously some more French troops will be uh, more than likely arriving soon as the message has been sent up to headquarters as well. Obviously by messenger, so we've got to give a bit of time for messenger to reach, obviously, and things to be uh, put into place. Um, that is pretty much uh, what, uh, what's what been going on for the week. Um, as I say, I'll put a couple of... Uh, pictures up at the end of the uh, video to show the action uh what i thought would be good though would be to introduce you to some of the actual uh, troops that are actually on the board so i'll take i've picked the uh, third corp of the prussians and um as you can see the yellow flags a is the third division uh, the third division is made up of the second east prussian grenadiers one battalion third east prussian line three battalions, the 4th Reserve Line, three battalions, the 3rd East Prussian Militia, three battalions, the 1st Lifeguards, and the East Prussian Jaeger, and their divisional artillery attached. Um, B flag is made up of the 5th Division, uh, the Pomeranian Grenadiers, 1st Pomeranian Life Infantry, uh, three battalions, 2nd Reserve Line Infantry, three battalions, 2nd Kermark, Militia, three battalions, Pomeranian Hussars, the West Prussian Uhlans, and their divisional artillery. C Division is made up of, uh, sorry, C Flag is the 6th Division, uh, made up of the Kolberg Line Infantry, the 9th Reserve Line Infantry, the 1st Newmark Militia, Pomeranian National Cavalry, and their division of artillery attached. 
and uh, last but not least uh, D flag which is now taking the lead is the uh, reserve cavalry which is made up of the Queen's Dragoons and the Brandenburg Dragoons and the 1st West Prussian Dragoons and also uh, there is the 2nd and 4th Kermark Militia Cavalry and the 2nd Pomeranian Militia Cavalry as well with their horse artillery attached um, just thought it would be nice to show what the actual uh, one of the units is made up of and I'll um, probably be doing that uh, to each to the French next next week on the next instalment so uh, yeah it's all looking good we've had our first little uh, encounter and uh, I will um, keep you posted uh, see you next week and uh, as always thanks for taking the time to watch the videos uh, any questions please leave uh, anything in the comments and I will get back to you uh, as always, thanks for now. Bye.